Hi Sparkles, it's Jordan Sparks and welcome back to the Constellation. Today is Sister James Charles' birthday. So in honor of the Queen legend himself, we are going to be recreating this picture off of James Charles' Instagram. So happy birthday to James. Make sure to head over to James' channel or his Instagram and wish him a happy birthday today. Today is James' 20th birthday. So for today's video, we're going to be recreating a signature James Charles faux freckle look. And we're also going to be doing those rainbow brows. And for today's look, we are starting off with a full coverage foundation, base, and lashes. We're just going to zoom right through all of that and then head right into the rainbow brows and faux freckles tutorial. But if you're interested in all that, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up. But if you're brand new here, make sure to hit that juicy red subscribe button to join the constellation. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you get a notification every single time that I upload. All that being said, let's hop right into this. So to start out my base, I'm just going to be taking this e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm going to be dipping into an orange color corrector by Love & Beauty. I purchased this color corrector at Forever 21 a few years ago. It's honestly not the best product, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not sure if they even still sell this product, but this is the only color corrector that I have on hand, so I'm just going to be using this today. I'm applying this all over my 5 o'clock shadow area and around my neck and basically pulling this up underneath my eyes and anywhere else where I want to color correct and change the blue or purple undertones. Now I'm going in with a full coverage foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using today is by Maybelline. It is the Super Stay Better Skin Foundation and this is in the shade Light. I'm just pouncing this in with a damp beauty blender all over my face, concentrating it on the lower half of my face and just using a small amount on my forehead. Now I'm going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Stick. This is in the shade Rich Ginger and this is actually a foundation and concealer stick but I use it to contour my face. And then I'm just going to pounce that again in with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm using the Cover Effects Concealer. This is a super heavy full coverage concealer in the shade N Light and I'm just going to apply this to the high points of my face and underneath my eyes and anywhere where I want to add a little bit of brightness or anywhere where I just want a little bit of extra coverage. Essentially contouring and highlighting the face allows you to create depth in the face so that some points are lifted and some points are recessed. Anywhere that you make dark will be falling back and anything lighter will be brought forward. Now I'm just going in with my favorite powder Today I'm going to be using the NYX Professional HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. This is 100% pure mineral powder and I'm just going to be pressing this into my skin everywhere using a damp beauty blender. Now after I'm finished pressing all of the finishing powder into my face using a damp beauty blender, I'm going in with a brush to just wipe off all the excess. Now I'm going to be trying this brand new e.l.f contour and blush kit and this one is called Saint Lucia. I'm using this with a eyeshadow brush, just a fluffy eyeshadow brush. That's what I like to use to contour my nose. Now aside from contouring, I was extremely unimpressed with this kit. The blush looked extremely pink on the packaging in the store and then when I opened it up it was more of like a tan beige color. It barely had any pink to it whatsoever and then I found this contouring powder to be really really cakey it showed up really really patchy on my skin it didn't blend away and I was kind of unimpressed with the contour for the rest of this video because of that to be completely fair you get what you pay for this was the cheapest blush and contour kit in the entire drugstore I just needed something for this look then I went in with the NYX matte bronzer in the shade medium and set my face using the elf makeup mist and set setting spray then I just went into the high points of my face and right down the bridge of my nose where I want it to be the most pinched and the most snatched using the BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. And on top of that I went in with the e.l.f. Apricot Glow Baked Illuminator and a fine angled brush. And I'm using this same highlighting combination on the other high points of my face, just anywhere where I want it to pop and shine like the top of the Chrysler building, honey. Now I'm just going to go over my entire eyelid with a white eyeshadow and a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm using the Rock Nudes palette by Maybelline. Now I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes using a NYX eyelash curler. 
and I'm going to be going in with a pair of Ardell Remy eyelashes and Quo, I think is how you say the brand of eyelash glue. I'm not using Duo because it smells like fish. Then I'm just going to pop on these eyelashes with a pair of tweezers and use the Wet n Wild Mascara Mega Volume Lash to blend them together. So now that we're all done our base, let's hop into the eyebrows. So since this sister is super poor, I'm not going to be using the James Charles X Morphe palette, but I am going to be using the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, which is the cheapest and probably the only similar dupe that you can get at the drugstore. This retails for like $20 Canadian. But first, so that the color is like super bold, I'm going to use a glue stick to glue down my eyebrows. I'm just wetting the glue stick a little bit. I'm going to apply it directly to my eyebrows. So I'll just do one and then I'll do the other one off camera. Now I'm just going to comb up my eyebrow hair into the position that I want it to be in. So in James's picture, he has red at the front and then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple by the looks of it. So we're going to follow that exact same pattern and match my scarf. So while the glue on my eyebrow is still tacky, I'm going to go in with a wet angle brush and this red color and I'm going to start carving out my brow. That was not supposed to happen. So mistakes happen. I'm going to be going in with my beauty blender while this is still wet, hopefully. Okay, that removed nicely. I'm just making sure to bypass the very front of my eyebrow to give a subtle ombre effect. And then same from the bottom of the brow to the top. I want the bottom of the brow to be the most bold and intense and then just fade up into my natural brow color at the top, if that makes any sense. So now I'm going to dip into this corally orange color. And the method to my madness is I'm just kind of working with the eyeshadow as if it was a watercolor paint. Now that I've finished the red front to the brow, I'm going to go in with this Cover Effects Concealer in the Cover Light. I'm just putting it on the back of my hand, and then with the same brush, I'm going to detail my eyebrow so that the color has something white that it can stick to to pop. Now I'm going to repeat the same technique with the rest of the colors until we have a full rainbow brow. So I took a tiny bit of my own liberty in adding a little bit of extra purple, but this is one brow all finished and complete, and I'm absolutely loving how it turned out. Now I'm just going to go finish the other brow off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, Sparkles, we are back. Both brows are done and complete. I also just carved out my brows with a little bit of Cover FX concealer off camera, and then I just re-highlighted underneath my brows. Now before we head into the faux freckles, I'm just going to do a super simple three-part nude lip, and in order to do that, I'm going to be using the NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade tea and cookies now i'm going to go into the very center of my lips with this mariposa lip and i'm just going to go over all of that using this lancome gloss cream all right and last but not least we're going to go in with the signature james charles faux freckles and to do the faux freckles i'm going to go in with this eye and eyebrow pencil by kiss in the shade brown now for me i already have a bunch of natural freckles so i'm going to go in and basically just touch over all of my natural freckles and then if i feel like i want to add a couple more down the bridge of my nose where I would put my contour, maybe some up the center of my cheeks and on my forehead, I might do that as well. So you just wanna go in with tiny little dots like this, and this doesn't take a lot of pressure at all. Now that I have all of my freckles drawn on, I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and press them in place. Now I'm going to set everything in place one last time using the e.l.f. Mist and Set setting spray. All right, Sparkles, that is the finished look. I am so obsessed with this look. Shout out to Sister James, and again, happy birthday, Sister James. Make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up if you love this look as well, and to wish Sister James a happy birthday. Make sure to go wish Sister James a happy birthday down in the comments section, and tweet this video link to him so that he sees it. Now, before we go, I wanted to announce the sparkling star of today's video. Today's sparkling star is Abrel Vesquez 18 Thank you so much for the support, Avril. I love you so much. If you'd like to be the sparkling star in my next video, all you have to do is retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. And that is it for this video. But before we go, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that juicy red subscribe button if you want to join the constellation. We are almost 15,000 sparkles strong. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I will leave the links down in the bio. They're both Jordan J Sparks. Or you can follow me on Snapchat, which is JJ Sparks. And if you haven't got a chance to shop my 
Stay Sparkly merch, I will leave the link to Teespring down in the bio as well. And that is it for this video. But before we go, as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys, and happy birthday, Sister James Charles! Bye, guys. Hey.